We found the dog in a vast, lonely field, forgotten and unimaginably injured. His two front legs were broken, his bones shattered. The scene was desolate. Thousands of flies had infested the open wounds, laying eggs that hatched into maggots. Little by little, these maggots had taken over the necrotic areas and advanced to his hind legs, eating away at the tissue and aggravating the animal's pain. He lay there, motionless, with an expression of panic and fear. He was a hunting dog, his strong, agile build had once been his hallmark, now reduced to a weakened, terrified figure. A quick examination of him revealed that his condition was critical. We estimated that he had been abandoned for at least five days, alone, suffering unimaginable pain, at the mercy of a slow death. As we were tending to him, a local farmer approached and, without seeming surprised, said, I saw a man bringing the dog here a few days ago. I asked him indignantly why he hadn't done something, to which he replied that he didn't think the dog would survive much longer. That statement hit us like a punch in the gut. This little dog had spent days there, vulnerable, without help, waiting for an end that seemed inevitable, until, in an almost miraculous act of resistance, he found us. Our reaction was immediate. We knew he needed urgent care, so we carefully placed him in a box and rushed to the nearest veterinary clinic. During the journey, he looked at us, scared and withdrawn, as if he feared more violence. There was a torn rope around his neck, perhaps evidence of a desperate escape attempt. It was painful to imagine what he had already suffered. At the clinic, the evaluation was intense and revealing. The fractures in his legs were severe, and the medical team informed us that amputation of one of his legs was almost certain, as the infection had deeply compromised the tissues. The situation was made worse by the presence of worms, which had invaded several areas of the animal's body. But the veterinarians were determined to try everything, and with precision and dedication, they performed a series of complex surgeries and rigorous cleanings to remove the necrotic tissue. After days of uncertainty and intense treatment, we witnessed a miracle. The little dog managed to stand up, supporting himself on his paws carefully immobilized with splints. The scene was moving. He took his first steps with great effort, but with a look of determination that moved everyone. The strength of this animal, even in the face of so much suffering, was inspiring. The doctors explained that the fractures were not accidental. The inspection revealed marks that suggested he had been attacked with a stick. The trauma was so extensive that bruises covered his body. The farmer also told us that he saw the man walking away as if he had planned everything so that the dog would not have a chance. For four months, we followed the long and painful recovery process of this brave dog. Although his right leg was still slightly bent, which limited his movement, the vets managed to avoid amputation and give him a new chance. Every day, he grew stronger and we encouraged him in daily rehabilitation sessions, teaching him how to walk safely again. And the most impressive thing was to see him overcome the emotional trauma caused by the violence he suffered. Little by little, Tristan, as we came to call him, began to trust us. Despite the investigations, the authorities were unable to locate the person responsible but I firmly believe that everyone receives the consequences of their actions. Tristan, on the other hand, is destined for a life full of love and protection. He now lives with me and has become a great friend and companion, loyal and loving. This past summer, we saw an even happier side of him. He played with us, felt the sun and the wind, and began to understand what it means to have a safe home. Today, there is renewed hope in his eyes, a faith in a bright future, where suffering is just a distant memory. This dog's gaze reminds us that no matter how hard the ordeal, recovery is always possible, and he will remain by my side as part of my family forever.